Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Traven's RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Riata 39BH XL motorhome. You guys have picked a beautiful unit here. I'm going to walk you around it, try to show you how to get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration when parking. Of course, your big slide on the campsite. I also want you to think about your awning. You need plenty of room for that awning to come in and out, preferably nothing hanging over top of it. Then on your off camp side, again, your slides leave plenty of room for them to come in and out. But then I also want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Your power cord is all the way at the rear on your driver's side of your tow vehicle. Wraps up inside this storage here. And then your docking station is going to be just in front of your rear tire on your driver's side of your vehicle as well. So park accordingly so you can utilize facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive and get a good parking spot, we're going to go ahead and level your unit. So coming up to your driver's seat here, come down to this equalizer system. All you do is turn your power on, and then you're going to touch auto level. Auto level is going to bring down all your leveling jacks, level this whole unit out. Once it does, this will beep and you'll see this panel flash. Once we've got our unit level and stable, we can go ahead and hook up our power and water. So again, your power cords on your driver's side, all the way at the rear. Rolls right up inside here. You hand pull it out. When you're ready to retract it, you got a power button here. Good idea to take your hand and run it back and forth as you're doing it. You can electronically run it out as well. At the end of this 50 amp service, should you need, there will be a dog bone. Bring it from 50 down to 30. And if you need to plug into a 110 anywhere, there'll be a 30 down to 15 amp that you can plug into a 110. That's your power hooked up. Let's hook up our water. So here's our docking station. First thing first, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 psi, protecting the lines in your unit. Hook this up right where it says fresh water connection. This is also your city water connection. At the campsites, we are going to hook up city fill. So I have this pointing straight up and down. Then you can go ahead and turn on your hose. Now if your hose has been on for a little while, go inside and open up your water taps. You can deploy your slides at this time if you need. Your unit's already level and stable. But open up all your water taps. Get a nice steady flow of water going through the lines. Get the air out of the lines. Then you can shut them all off. Now let's say we're gonna go camping and we're not gonna hook up to a city water connect. We're gonna go dry camping. In that case, you can fill the fresh water tank in two different places. Turn this to fill fresh water. Hook up in the same spot here. Fill it up. The way to tell this is full is go inside to your control panel and we can check your batteries and your levels of your black and gray tanks. There's also a Button showing you the level of your freshwater tank. Once that freshwater tank is full, go ahead and remove that hose and then turn on your water pump. You can turn it on here, you can turn it on indoors, just wherever you turn it on at, make sure you shut it off in the same spot. I'm gonna go over to the campsite and show you another spot that you can fill your freshwater 
with the gravity fill, just a regular hose. And that is going to be front of your tire on your camp side. So we fill it up here. Again, check it the same way inside. And then there's a fresh water drain for that. Remember, don't leave these unattended when you're filling them. All right, we got our power and our water hooked up. Let's go ahead and walk around the rest of the unit. I'm going to start you again back here on your off camp side at the rear where your power is. This is where you can plug this in. This will warm up your uh, bulb inside. It's easier to start this in the winter time. Here's your cable hook up at. There's your fueling. Again, your docking station. Up here we have a water pump. Your macerator, we'll talk about that when we dump our black and gray tanks. Your connection. Black tank flush, we'll talk about that when we leave as well. Fresh water connection. You also have your macerator. Let's return that on that. We'll talk about that when leaving. Hot and cold outdoor shower. And this is your water filter. There's a handle to open and close that. Over here is your liquid for your aqua hot water system. There is a bypass for the hot and cold back there for winterizing this. Here's your, where you'll change the, the uh, filter on your Dirt Devil vacuum. Pass through storage. More storage, more storage. Those are your hydraulics for your uh, slide mechanisms. These are going to be a few box for all of your chassis. Keyless entry lock, docking lights, entry step. There's a light for in here. And this is a handle to pull to release. Pull this forward. Then you can also pull this one and pull the whole thing out. But that's your generator. We'll start that up here shortly. Your fuel, or your, excuse me, your liquid for your stabilizing system. Over on your campsite, you have a lot of storage. This tray here will pull out to either side, all the way out. Make sure you snap it all the way in so it'll lock in. Get in that fresh water. More storage, your batteries. If you ever decide you just want to shut your batteries off, just flip this up to shut them off. In the rear of your unit, here's your engine. Here's your your uh, coolant and your oil, your dipstick. So this would just bring it down. Kind of heavy. Lock that in. And we're back around to our off camp side. That about covers everything out here. Let's go take a look inside. All right, coming in the entry doorway, quite a few things to explain here on your left. This is your main power control for your house. Here's your lights, turn on the masters. Here's your step light. This is your step power. Master lights on and off, your patio awning. I'm gonna extend that, you only wanna extend that until your flap falls down to 90 degrees and you can see your bar that will run itself out past that and roll itself up backwards so keep an eye on it when you're running it out there's an awning light a cargo light for underneath where your cargo is at your storage main ceiling lights and your porch light continue running your awning in here before I talk about the top you have a cup holder key holder and a couple of USB chargers. Got your awning in, I'll close this up. Talk about a couple other things here. This is your step extend. Press that, that'll bring your step out. And up, make sure you bring it all the way up, bring your feet nice and level here. Up front here, 
You have your nightshade, which is your solid shade. And then you have your day shade, which you can see through. Driver's side has the same thing. Fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone camping with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the passenger doorway in case of emergency. 110 here. All your control panels, your backup light over here on the driver's side. Again, your equalizing system. All of your lights. There will be a manual for all that. Here's your day and night shades. You can also control the passenger size from here. Menu select. Uh, your pedal slide. Docking lights. A battery boost for when you're starting it. Air horn, your air brakes. Continue back into the unit. Your table will fold down. Set it down onto these. Put your back cushions on top. That will give you another sleeping quarters. Find your TV remote here in a moment. That will store down as well. Up here is your wine guard system. If you subscribe to there, that's where you're plugging that. There's your TV plugs in back there. Some storage. And that is where all of your TV systems run through. Here's your TV lift. Find a remote real quick. So find your remote. They are all up in here, including one for outdoors. Here's your TV working. It's an HDMI. You can change your input to TV. Have to run a digital channel scan. It'll pick up some cha some channels while we're going through the rest of the unit, and then we'll bring that back down. We're done. So I stand corrected on this table here. These do not go on top of this once it's folded down. Back here on your bedroom, this piece will go back there. That store is nice up in your bunk area. Coming into your kitchen, self-explanatory microwave. Does have a high and low light? High and low. Exhaust fan Down here is your Furion induction heating separate uh, Manual for that but turn it on here or turn this one on over here Turn your temperature up change your lights Turn your temperature up turn it to heat little induction light shut that off You have vacuum down here as well so we kick that to the side. 110 here Your fridge does have a lock on it For travel make sure you push that down See which way it goes here Yeah, it'll go down and lock that in there So this doesn't pop open on you for travel controls for that are right here Your pantry uh, Heat there you do have a hand crank open exhaust fan up here. Coming to your bunk area here. Take note you can turn this on. Raise your top bunk up. And just that quickly, now you have a closet. There's your bottom bunk. Just come up and down rather quickly. It does stop automatically. Make sure the doors are closed for travel. Brings us to our control panel. I'm going to go all the way to home. Here you can do a little bit of everything. You can do your, shut your master lights on and off. Exterior lights on and off. Uh, turn on your water pump. Turn on your kitchen fan, bathroom fans, stool room fans. Turn on your inverter. Start and stop your generator. Um, over here shows what power you're using. Locking the entry doorway, lighting, or we can go through individually. 
So here's where you start and stop your generator. Here's your lighting. You shut all that on and off from in here. All one touch. Okay, start here in the middle. Turn on your AC. Don't get bring temperature down. There we go. There's your AC kicking on. Shut that off. Now let's turn on your heat here. You can do a uh, front AC control three different areas. Your bay aqua hot, you can set your temperature on that. Coming down here, you can do your slides. One thing I want to note, your bedroom slide, that bed must be up into the tilted position. I'm gonna bring it down right here. But you can control all your slides from here. Your bed must be up into the tilted position in order to bring that slide in and out. You can also control your awning from here. Much easier from the front door, as you can see what you're doing. So there's your bed in the reclined position, or in the lay down position. We'll tilt that back up. As you see, the bed slide says raised bed, or the bed slide is locked. As you'll see, once your bed slide gets all the way to the top, now it shows that you can retract it. And then lastly down here is just network diagnosis, setting your time. Down here on the floor is your 12 volt carbon monoxide propane detector. Now the reason I mention this 12 volt is always running off your battery. Down below that is the vacuum system. Put your vacuum hose right in there. In your bathroom, a couple things to mention in here. A hand crank open, exhaust vent up in here. Lighting. And some plumbing to maintain. Just keep an eye on your plumbing. You're bouncing a house down the road. Make sure nothing's wiggle loose over time. Come back into your bedroom. You have an access panel to your break to uh, the breaker box over here. Then this one here is going to be. Your fuses and other breakers. Got a variety in there. I highly recommend having a handful of those with you when you go camping. Not too often someone has extra fuse laying around. All your TV in here. Shut that off. Show you how to run that one down. Not much more to talk about in here other than you. up on the bed here you have a lot of individual lighting ceiling lights as well as entry door lock down in the end there you can bring up and down this bed as well coming into your bathroom washer and dryer and a slide door Hand crank open exhaust vent again in here. Your shower, main thing on this, I want to make sure you have this snapped open for travel. Or snapped close, excuse me. Lights, and a vent fan. Make sure this door is snapped open. And open for travel. Don't want them bouncing around on you. And that about covers everything on the inside. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite. Show your TV up here working now. It was showing 36 channels last I saw, so really good reception on these. I'll bring, it, bring that TV down. So I'm gonna start by saying doors and drawers. Make sure that all doors and drawers are closed. 
nothing's gonna impede your slides from coming in you also have your extra water filter up in there as well with all your remotes now I like to come to the control panel come to my lighting which I like to go to here because I can see everything I'm shutting off shut off everything and it shows me that I've left on can't see this very well in the dark left on my light over there now I see I've got all my lights off turn on your my main ceiling lights and go to slides continue oh actually you no know, let me back up let me show you what that says here it's telling you to make sure that that driver's driver's side chair is back in its original position which reminds me you can pull up on this lever right here and swing these all the way around you also have a way to lean it back and power power lift back and forth from here a foot rest power foot rest same thing on the driver's side so make sure that is returned back to its regular driving position and it'll allow you to bring in slides I like to start with the bedroom slide because it's for this one back. <coughs> I'm gonna slide this cushion up a little more. It should travel fine there. Now I'm doing is pressing the retract button. That one's in. I'm gonna run the one in that's right behind me. So I'm gonna step forward, let that one come in. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Once that one's in, let's hit our dinette slide. Now, so the drawer pop open, snap that back closed, go back to my lights, shut them off, and exit the unit. Now, at this point, we're going to unhook our power, our water, and our cable. We're going to come back to our auto leveling system, turn that back on, and down here in the corner, you're going to hit retract all. And that's going to bring up all of your auto leveling system. Shut off our main power to the unit. Lock and deadbolt our unit if we're leaving it somewhere. And head on up to the dump station. Now at the dump station, park accordingly. Your dump is going to be just in front of your rear tire on your driver's side of your vehicle. Once you arrive, move a few things out of the way here and show you what we got going on. I got a 10 foot hose, comes to your convenience pack. Hook that right up underneath there. And by leaving this handle in, We'll pull our sewage holding tank. Now it's going to dump our black tank. After our black tank's done. Alright, so now after we hook up our sewage hose, we're going to come up here and pull our black handle. The black handle is going to be your uh, sewage. You can go inside and check the level of your tank again to make sure this is empty or just listen for it to be empty. Once that is dumped, go ahead and leave that black handle open. Grab your water pressure regulator again. Hook it up to the tank flush valve and turn on the hose for a good five minutes. That's going to wash out your black tank. 
Again, making sure this handle's open. Shut that hose off. Make sure all that drainage, all that washout is out. Then pull your, close your black tank and pull your gray tank. That's going to be cleaner waters, your sinks and your showers, and that'll clean your sewage hose out for you. Then you can store it away in a nice sanitary place. Come over here and dump both those low point drains, and that'll drain out your waters. On the other side, if you want to dump your fresh tank, remember there's one right below the uh, fresh tank you can dump if you're out dry camping. And lastly, you've got your macerator system. Now, generally that doesn't get used unless you've uh, been using this for a long time before using it. In that case, you're going to open this handle here and you're going to turn on your macerator. So make sure this end goes in your sewage hose before turning it on or your sewage dump. Turn on your macerator with your black handle open and that's going to macerate and dump that black tank rather quickly. When that's done, shut off your macerator, close your black handle, pull your gray handle and that'll do the same thing. Turn on your macerator, that'll dump out the gray and then store your sewage hose. That about covers everything. Again, thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this regatta for many, many years to come. Happy camping.